We mentioned that DPA is the lesser known of the three omega-3 fatty acids. Do you think that's going to change the more study and research we have that we'll hear more about DPA? Well, I think yes. As, uh, when, when we figure out how to, how to purify the compound, how, mm. to, how to get it to, to a high purity, then you will see more studies on this and you will see more uh, public will become more and more aware of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the compound. Talk about that a little bit more and what are we learning about DPA and, and, and what it actually does for us? Well, a number of epidemiological studies show that high levels of DPA in blood are positively correlated with multiple health, uh, uh, positive health outcomes. Mm -hmm. People who have higher levels of DPA in blood typically have uh, better heart health and better neurological health. Uh, this is something that you can see consistently from many different epidemiological trials. That's what we know uh, from the observational trials. There is uh, currently, there is uh, much less information from the animal studies or from human studies. There are a few animal studies that link supplementation with DPA with health outcomes, such as um, cholesterol levels, for mm -hmm. example, or uh, neuro neurological function and uh, neural development. Uh, there are uh, cell culture. There are cell culture studies that show that the mechanisms by which DPA works and how it helps to promote health. Um, unfortunately, there is not that many human clinical trials. Uh, there is only one human clinical trial that just came out um, this year and it shows that DPA has a unique uh, patterns of incorporation into cell membranes.